Okay, so this is a little uh, bonus lecture. I'm, um, I updated lecture 3.1 with this subsection, Traversing Representations, uh, because I think that there's some confusion out there about how to go from one representation of a signal to another and back, especially with regard to phasers, so I want to, to try to, to explicitly state some things. So. Figure 3.2 shows transformations uh, one might use to change signal representations. Often we begin with a trigonometric form and convert to a phasor form, um, also known as polar form for analysis, which might require switching back and forth between phasor and polar uh, and rectangular depending on the operation. So let's, let's look at the, at the diagram for a minute. So a trigonometric form, we often start there. We'll phase it, meaning we'll take the amplitude and the phase and put them into this complex exponential or polar form. Um, we'll work with this form for a while, um, oftentimes going um, back and forth between it and rectangular form. So another way to represent this phasor uh, uh, or polar representation is as a rectangular complex number. This would be polar, this would be rectangular. The way to go from or phasor to rectangular or polar to rectangular is the way that you convert polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. That is, the x or real part is uh, the amplitude a times cosine phi, the angle. Um, and y, or the imaginary part, is a sine phi. So, and you get x plus jy in the rectangular form. To go back to phasor or polar form, we take uh, um, x squared plus y squared, take the root of that, uh, 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 and we get the amplitude back. So, we're back to amplitude. And then the phase is the arctangent of the imaginary part over the real part. So that's how you go to rectangular and then back, and then you're working in this in this complex number representation. Um, and if at the end you would like to go back, we don't always want to go back, but oftentimes uh, we do want to go back to trigonometric form. Um, we could say we dephase it, we take it, and we um, take the amplitude back out and the phase back out. So. That's kind of the, the idea. Um, for multiplication or division, remember, we want to be in this phasor or polar form. Uh, for addition and subtraction, we want to be in rectangular form. So you're going to bop back and forth between these um, oftentimes when you're doing a problem so that you can um, more easily combine these, these uh, complex representations. So that's it. That was just a little little bonus, little mini lecture. All right, that's all I've got for now.